Hey guys, how's it going today? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today we are going to focus on getting our rocket fuel produced for our rocket. So as you can see over here, it takes one iron plate, 100 light oil, and 1000 oxygen. So quite a lot of oxygen. And uh, to do so, we are going to do it in these uh, fuel refineries. But before we get to that, <clears throat> I noticed that we were running very short on sulfur. And so this is something that can happen in your base that um, you know, you see you're short on something and you got to figure out why. So I came down here and lo and behold, I see um, that not all of my um, chemical plants are working. And uh, if I look inside, you can see it's taking a while for the petroleum gas to fill up. So there's clearly some issue with petroleum. So I came over here, check this. This is uh, very low. The heavy oil is low as we might expect if this is low but light oil is completely full. And that kind of leads to um, an indicator that we aren't cracking enough light oil into petroleum gas. So we are gonna add a couple buildings here that are going to do some cracking for us um, and hopefully will help with that issue. And once we can start cracking enough light oil, that issue is gonna completely go away because our refineries will be able to work faster, um, and then all of our other chemical plants will be able to work faster as well. So there's some <clears throat> additional cracking. And there we go. I don't know that I need one of these every... Yeah, you can do every other one. There we go. All right. So hopefully that helps some. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to see that over here, that our uh, sulfur production is going to start increasing. You can see how light it was over here. And now you can definitely see that there's more coming. We still may need more um, cracking, um, but we will look at that uh, in a little bit, I guess, and just see how it, it goes. Let's see, is this decreasing at all? Uh, kind of, yeah. Uh, it's kind of sitting steady right now. Like, these are probably working more now. So maybe we would need to add, how many more? I have two more. Yeah, we can add two more. And hopefully that will really, um, you know, get it to a point where it <clears throat> is cracking everything it needs to. So that's kind of one of those things that you might have to do with your factory is debugging. And early on, that can be pretty easy, you know. You see a need and you can figure out, uh, you know, pretty quickly where the problem is. But later on, when like if you have a ton of trains and things like that, and everything is super spread out. It might be difficult to see what the problem actually is, but... All right, so we're getting enough petroleum gas for now. Um, and we'll let this run a bit. And in the meantime, we are going to work on getting that sweet, sweet rocket fuel done. So I think that... I think that we'll maybe do it... Now, we want to leave a little bit of room because it's, this is going to take some room. So we're going to do it down here. We might end up um, building over this uh, rare metals patch, but we have more up here. And that one... Yeah, we probably won't even end up using this. So it's okay if we build over it. <clears throat> so, these are going to be our fuel refineries for our rocket fuel. And let's do that. So, there are a couple ways that you can produce oxygen, and one of them I didn't even realize until later on in the game, and I was like, oh my gosh, I've been producing oxygen the worst way. So one of them is with an electrolysis plant, where you do um, the opposite of this. You do water separation, and you make 20, 20 oxygen and 40 hydrogen. And that's the way I was doing it for a very long time in the game. And I was like, dang, this is super inefficient. <clears throat> and it turns out it is inefficient because we can just use these atmospheric condensers, which are kind of big um, and ugly, but basically they just make uh, oxygen and a few other things for free. So you can look here. You can make water for free, basically, just for the electricity it takes to do a, use a condenser. You can make 300 oxygen for free and nitrogen, which I did not realize that um, until way later in my game. 
And when I figured it out, I was like, oh, this is like, this feels like cheating because it's so easy. Um, so this is the, what we're definitely going to use because, um, you know, obviously creating 20, like that electrolysis or the separation, I guess, was 20 oxygen every six seconds. This is 300 oxygen every 10. So huge, huge difference in um, production speeds. And we might have to move these a little bit later, but for now, it'll be good. And we want to try and keep it to where, um, you know, we're, this is probably not the best way to do this, but we, re we definitely want a couple um, pipes for uh, the oxygen because if you have, you know, these um, atmosphere condensers all going into like one pipe, even if you're producing enough oxygen, you're not gonna um, have the, the output that you would expect. And so um, it can be kind of difficult to understand like what's going on when you're like, hey, I should be producing enough oxygen, but just the, um, the pressure in the pipes is way too high. So you can't actually um, produce that much. So I think that seems decent for now. Like we've got, yeah, we'll, we'll add, we'll, we'll do this. So we'll start these things working. These things will start producing oxygen. And then over here, we'll focus on getting some light oil. So, and of course I blocked this, that's fine. So we're just gonna shift these up, boop, boop, boop. And uh, to do that, we'll just uh, take the input, move it here and here, output. Uh, this is gonna be that, there we go. Output there, and then we'll do that. That way, we keep our same um, same logic, but we just kind of shift it over. And then we can bring our light oil up over here uh, to use. We'll have to bring it in probably right about here. Uh, where is it? Here. There we go. There we go, one off. Okay, so now we've got light oil, and we can connect that in. And we probably will be a little bit slow on uh, creating this just because the oxygen count is just way too high. Like we need, I mean, to supply all these, we're not gonna be able to supply them. That's just the cold hard facts. Um, you know, this takes 10 seconds to make 300 and we're gonna use a um, thousand every second for one of these. So really it takes, geez, three, it takes three to, to, or four, I guess, to provide enough for one tenth of one of these. Yeah, that's kind of insane. So later we'll try and get some speed modules in these um, to try and just totally boost them. And we'll deal with it for the time being. And you know, they'll, they'll produce as fast as they produce and that's gonna be life. But okay, so, Things look very weird. All right, and then we'll um, we'll output our okay. Uh, do that, and then we need one more thing, which is iron plate, and we could bring it in back here, but it, I think that'd be a real pain. So we're just going to bring an iron plate up here, and we will use um, long inserters to insert. There we go. And we have iron plate right here already from when we were making our sulfuric acid, which is nice. <clears throat> so we'll bring that over. There we go. And then we're gonna output over here and we can just run our, um, our uh, rocket fuel up alongside this sulfur. Um, we, could, we could go like behind, but I think that's kind of, um, Eh, we, we're already doing this belt behind, so maybe we should do rock, rocket fuel behind and kind of like go up right behind the labs and then alongside this over here. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Um, just because the rocket fuel really isn't going to be used for a whole lot else. Okay. So we're going to go up right behind the labs. Um, you may have to... Well, the labs are going to have to move eventually anyways because 
eventually we aren't going to even be able to use these labs. Um, our labs are going to have to be in space because we're going to be doing space science that uh, is so fancy it can only be done in space. So uh, there's no reason not to put this belt here. Okay, there we go. Lots of belt here. And that's, that's everything. So we now have uh, produced everything that we need to make a rocket. And it's just gonna be a matter of waiting for all of the necessary quantities of each of those items to be produced. Um, you can see here that I uh, decided to buffer these so we can at least fill them, fill up a couple uh, chests with those. Same for our uh, low densities and same for our heat shielding. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a stack of these because it's needed in a bunch of things now. Uh, but, uh, so that's one of the things I did uh, off camera was just kind of buffer these. And then I also, um, I also increased our copper output. Um, I increased our fuel output some, but it's looking like it's pretty low still. Uh, it looks like we're kind of burning through this fuel pretty quickly, so I'm gonna have to add some more of those. And then I also increased our power production. Um, two of these boilers can support one of these steam turbines. Now, the steam isn't hot enough for us to get the full, um, if you look at the bottom right-hand corner, uh, actually, you probably can't see that here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so if you look in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see that it has a potential of outputting 10 megawatts. Um, and so, you know, we would like to do that, but our steam really has to be super hot to be able to do that. Um, so you can see available power is 3.8 megawatts, which isn't bad. You know, we have one turbine producing 3.8 megawatts for two uh, boilers. And over here, this is one boiler producing um, one, mega, one and a half megawatts because you got two steam engines. So it's an upgrade from the steam engines for sure. Um, so I, I upgraded our power. So we're now producing up to 42 megawatts. And um, so we're definitely gonna have to do some more base upgrades here soon. Um, but first we are going to try and get this uh, satellite rocket silo. So let's run down and we can turn this back on. Uh, let's run down and see if we can grab enough resources to do that we should be able to. Well, I think one of the things I forgot to automate um, in our little production center is pipe and underground pipe. So we can do that real fast. Hey, okay, so we are down here at our production center. I did forget to do pipe and underground pipe. So let's automate that real fast because we are going to need that. So this is going to be pipe and this is going to output to passive provider. And this is gonna be our underground pipe builder over here. And that's gonna also output to a passive provider. So here, uh, pipe, there we go. And this is gonna be the underground pipe. And we'll do that. And we'll limit this to two, we'll limit this to one. And we kinda just need the regular pipe right now, not the underground pipe. So we'll just let this craft some for us. Um, also for our rocket silo, we need a thousand concrete, which I believe we should have now. Here's our concrete. Is that a, is that a thousand? Yep, that's a thousand. Okay. We also need 500 steel. Um, I would grab it straight from the belt, but I think that we have some in chests up here. So I'll just grab that. <clears throat> here we go. 400, okay, that should be 500. Check it out. All right, so we can craft it. Let's just grab some more pipes so we don't have to handcraft like 80, uh, 80 pipes. That'd be a little bit tedious. So let's see, we got, hey, 81. What are we at, like 97? Okay, perfect, there we go. So we've got our satellite rocket silo and we'll just do that. So we don't forget and then we can come over here um, I'm thinking before we start 
uh, building it, we might grab um, some productivity modules to fill it with, just because, you know, getting as much productivity out of uh, your rocket pieces is as good as you can get um, in terms of saving resources. Even if it's level ones, which are, what are these? 4%, so you get an extra 12%. Hey, 12% free resources, not bad. And we will put it down, I don't know. We're gonna need to put a, send a couple belts to it. Let's just leave some room just in case. And there we go. Uh, so we can, uh, let's see, we can run one belt here, one belt here, and we're gonna run out of belt. So let me go grab that and then we'll be back. All right, so we're back from grabbing some belts. So let's finish this off here. So we've got, um, we have our rocket fuel and now we can actually uh, stop buffering these. Uh, well, actually we can keep buffering them uh, for later, but we'll do this. Uh, let's see, so here. There we go. All right, and so that's our uh, RCUs. And then here, we'll do the same thing um, for our low densities. There we go. And then over here, we'll do the exact same thing for the heat shielding. There we go. Okay. And that's heat shielding for you. We might end up moving some of these belts a bit later, you know, because they're kind of everywhere, but doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, we've got everything set up now. I could start building the rocket, but I do want to wait a little bit um, because I do want to craft four of these um, and they kind of take a, a bit of time to craft. So I won't make you sit through that. But yeah, so we're ready to uh, start launching a rocket. Next episode, we will make sure that we can launch a rocket and we will do so. Uh, we still have to produce a satellite, which is very important. Um, takes, oops, takes 50 low densities, 50 advanced circuits, 10 solar panels, 10 accumulators, 50 solid rocket fuel, glass, and a radar. So it is a little bit expensive, but it is going to, as you can see there at the very bottom of that panel, give us 100 uh, satellite telemetry pieces, I guess. So basically the idea is that as you're launching these satellites, it gives you uh, some cool new information and then we'll use that in uh, these rocket tech cards. So if we look over here, rocket tech cards take um, an electric furnace, a speed module, blank tech cards, and then that satellite telemetry. Now, you will notice that one satellite telemetry gives you eight rocket tech cards. So one rocket launch will give you, you get a hundred satellite telemetry, so it'll give you 800 tech cards. So, you know, you don't have to feel like you have to launch a ton of rockets as soon as you start launching rockets. You can start really slow and um, you can start making these rocket tech cards and still get a lot out of, you know, every launch. So, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for joining, and I hope to see you on the next episode. Have a great day today.